Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to the Silver Lake. I've been there several times in the past, but every time it's been 20 and 30 minutes quick session. So I feel like that lake needs a proper fishing session. Right now it's 8 o'clock in the morning. We're gonna probably spend the three hours fishing around that lake. Let's see if we can catch any lunkers there. You know, whenever possible, I really try to fish right before the cold front. But this one is way early in the morning. I just can't do it. It's not gonna be too bad right now. So we, but we're gonna deal with the rain and we're gonna have to get ready for whatever comes in our way. It's gonna be wet. Turn right, then your destination will be on the Let's right. Let's get ready. Since we have a couple hours here, instead of going right to my favorite spot, I'm gonna fish around other spot a little bit. I'm gonna fish from the south to the north end of this pond. Let's see if we can find some other spots so that I can catch good fish. Let's check out this area. Wow. You see those lily pads and the tree lay down there? I think we probably are gonna catch some good fish there, but uh, the tricky part is uh, get down there. Uh, let's see. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Let's try this. Let's try this. I'm gonna throw the Senko first. Let's be quiet. Decent depths, lots of structure, lily pads. Perfect. Oh, you see these roots? I think we're gonna be safe to just stand on these roots. Okay, let's fish here. Oh, that's our first fish. We missed it. We missed it. Oh, we got a fish. Oh, that's our first bass. Wow, that's pretty big. Wow, you see that? I'm not sure if I can get him back here. Right in the lily pads. We hooked him good. Right in the thickness of the lily pads, we got our first fish. It's gonna be a little tricky to get him back here. This one is probably, oh. Nice one, guys. Oh shit, this is pretty deep. Whoa, this is pretty deep. We're gonna be very careful about this. Okay. Okay, we got him here. Oh gosh. What did I tell you, you guys? What did I tell you? Oh my gosh. Guys, what did I tell you? Right in the thickness of the lily pads, we got a two pounder. What a fish to start our day. What a fish, beautiful fish. Let's get him back. I do think there's more. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Okay, I'll let you go. You know, it's very important to tuck in your hook points so that you fish weedless on this kind of garbage. Oh, that's another one. Oh, that's a small bass. Oop, he dehooked himself. That's good. Or fish number two. Not bad, huh? Let's go. Oh, 
Let's go. That is not bad at all, I'm telling you guys. A two pound start off the day. We're gonna catch some bacon. Oh hey, look at this tree. This tree is beautiful. We're gonna fish here, 100%. You know, especially in the raining day like this, you gotta be extra careful. Stepping on these walls, they can be very slippery. That's a big fish in the shallow. Oh, I lost it. I don't have time to change the bait right now. I'm gonna use the other rod. I'm gonna use the bug. Let's see if this bug gonna draw any big bites. Oh, that's our fish. That's a big one. That is our fish. That's our fish. Wow, that's a big mondo. We're gonna need to land this. Wow, that's a big mondo. Okay. Okay. That's a big mondo. Check this out, guys. Wow, this guy got a very sharp teeth. This is a probably a three pounder. Wow, guys. My gosh, I knew it. Ah, oh, this is our, that's a big mouth, man. This is a huge mouth. Oh my gosh, this is a three pounder for sure. We're gonna weigh him. Guys, this is our third fish today. Look at this mondo. Wow, beautiful fish. This one is very long. I think this is a three pounder. I'm gonna weigh him. What I told you guys, this is a three pounder on the dot. Check out this mouse. This is huge bucket mouse. Our first three pounder of the day. Now you see how accurate is my weighing scale. Our first three pounder of the day, huge bucket mouse. Whoa, look at this, beautiful fish, absolutely beautiful fish. Oh man, our first three pounder of the day. Look at this beautiful male. Wow. Here you go, big boy. Guys, this is the lure I caught him on. This is a four inch bug from Z-Man on the A sounds bullet weight. That spot, I actually casted my uh, Senko over there at least uh, five times and nothing happens. As soon as I changed to this bug, it tricked him to bite. It's really not this base, it's better than the uh, Senko I have. It's really sometimes the fish just want something else. Is that a fish or what? Oh, it is a fish. It's getting bigger. Oh my gosh, it tangled in the woods. Oh my gosh. That's our fourth fish. He got tangled in the timber. 
I'm gonna release my line a little bit, let him swim over. He might just untangle our, our line. Guys, I have a very difficult decision to make. My line got stuck on this tree and there is a still fish on my hook. I mean, I could just cut off my line, just... But that fish is still on the hook and I think we hooked him good, he's not gonna go away. So... Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm gonna do this. Got him! Oh my gosh! <sighs> Guys, I'm not gonna do that again, I promise. I'm done. <sighs> Guys, I can't believe I did that. I just cannot stand that that fish is on my hook and just hanging around on that log and waiting to die. Guys, we're gonna need to hurry up. <sighs> you know, this is uh, my favorite spot. I had a video before. Uh, if you want to check out this spot and go to my last video, I think that is uh, vlog number two. But today I'm gonna want to explore some more spots for you guys. So I'm gonna skip that one. Let's go. I just lost a big one. I haven't caught a fish in an hour since we uh, went down the water. Was that a bad luck? <sighs> I don't know. Whoa, look at this. <laughs> look at this tree, my gosh. Wow, that would be a great spot, you know. Let's get down here. I'm gonna try this spot. <sighs> it's gonna be pretty tricky, huh? But, uh, let's go.
That was another fish. Crap. You know what? I'm gonna change the tube to a very small bug on this rod. Now we have a better hookup ratio. Okay, now we got him. I knew it. Oh my gosh. The four inch tube on that small medium light rod is just very hard to set a hook. It doesn't have enough power. So I switched to a very small two and three quarter inch bug. That hook point is right on the edge of that bug. So it's very easy to set a hook. And we got him. No way to escape. All right. Thank you for the play. It's been a while. You can go. Another one. <sighs> Baby, huh? Let's go under the tree and check this out. There's a whole other section we can fish. Let's uh, put our GoPro down. Start fishing. There's another one. Ah, that's a crappie. We got one. This is a black crappie. Could be the one I lost. I don't know. A small crappie for ya. Guys, there are just a lot of fish under this tree. Oh, that's another one. Get out of here. Another black crappie. Huh. I think I found a school of black crappie here. This is much bigger. So much bigger. Let's go check out some other spots. Let's go check out some spots. I already caught like four fish here. Good enough, can't complain. Let's try this. Uh, black crappie here. This is a uh, black crappie number three. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Ah. Let's move on, guys. So we caught a five fish on this trip. Uh, not bad. Let's hurry up. There's one last section left. It's been two hours since the three pounder I caught. And uh, we need some big fish. Oh, check this out, guys. Check this out. This tree is gonna be very slippery. I'm not gonna risk it to stand on this tree, but I can stand on down there. Yeah, I can do that. You know what? Let's go down here. We're gonna we're gonna cast here. Let's use our spark first. Shit. 
Hey, that's our big fish. Get it up here. Oh, she blowed it up on the top water. Not a bad one, guys. Finally, we're back on the bass fishing. Let's get back to it. They are kind of a suspending on the top water because there are a few fish that hit so high on the top. Okay, that's our fish. Lost it. Got stuck on there. Oh my gosh, I lost it. Got stuck on the tree and uh, lost it. Did you literally see that fish? It was literally on top of the water. Do I have some top water base? I do have some. But, uh, Okay, that's our fish. We got him. That's our fish. This is the big one. Mondo. We gotta get him out of that thick woods. We gotta get him out. Wow, this is the big Mondo. Finally, we are back on the big Mondo. Whoa. Get over here. Whoa. Ah, nice one. Nice one. Oh, these guys, they are suspending on the top of water. It hits right as my base hits on the water. It did not sink at all. I mean, this is the best time you can use the top water. Look at this, guys. This is our third big fish today. My weighing skill are pretty good. This is 2.6. It's not gonna be far away from that. Check out this big male. Oh, let's get back to it. Love it with this big fish. You can go. Nice. Nice, guys. I don't really have to use top water, you know? As soon as they heat it, I know it. I'm just gonna use I'm just gonna use this Senko as a top water. I don't really need a top water bait. Senko is very versatile. I can fish it anywhere I want. Let's get back to this. That was two casts back to back. Oh Good fish. Good fish. This is about 15 ounces. Good fish. You can go. Wow, they are actively feeding. This is what we want to see, man. Oh, let's move on. Okay, we started to enter this jungle. Uh, there are some leaves growing out. Whoa, look at this. This seems like a good spot. Yeah, this looks like a good spot. I'm gonna fish here. Okay. Okay, that's our big fish. This is a big mondo. Oh, lost it. I lost it. That was a big one. Guys, I lost two big fish there. Uh, one is that I throw it over the tree and I couldn't drag it back. And another one is uh, it's stuck on the branches again. I'm not gonna swim again too much. 
I'm gonna uh, sneak into this spot and see if we can catch anything here. Let's cast out there. Okay. There are just so many fish in this kind of a structure. We lost a big one, but we hooked up a baby. You know, this time I just muscled him up. I never had him a chance to run into those branches. I'm not gonna lose my rig again. This is the last one. Oh, that's a good one. Am I gonna lose again? No way. This one's mine. This one is mine. This one is mine. This one's mine. Okay. Come over here. Ah. Oh. We pulled it off. Oh my gosh. This is a two pounder. Let's see. This is a 2.1. Beautiful male. 2.1. Oh, beautiful fish. Look at him. I pulled him out, out of these millions of timbers. Finally a revenge. I lost probably five of this today. I, I lost the count. I don't even know how many fish I caught and how many fish I lost. Oh, beautiful fish. Look at this beauty. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Okay, you can go. <laughs> Guys, I never planted a fish this long at this lake. But the fishing was just incredible. I just don't want to leave, man. I am so hungry right now, but uh, I just don't want to leave. Let's see if we can catch a giant here. Oh my gosh. Just look at this. Look at how many branches are there. How many timbers, branches, laydowns. I mean, it's everywhere. This is the paradise of bank fishing. Oh my gosh, I just can't get over with it. Let's continue fishing. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, break off. Oh my gosh, I lost my last Senko. You know, those big fish, they are incredibly smart. They hide in the gaps of these uh, trees. You know, even though I hooked them, they can easily run under the trees and get me tangled. And it's very difficult to get them out. Uh, I just ran out of Senko. I'm gonna use this four inch tube. It's gonna work just fine. Let's get back to this. Guys, as I walk over to the north of this uh, lake, it's getting very shallow. You can see here, there are massive amount of the lily pads here. Uh, when you see this, you know it is shallow. I don't know if I can find any good fish in this shallow water. I mean, today they seem to be at the shallow, but that doesn't mean they are live in the shallow flats. I mean, the shallow we found them at by the tree, they have deep water access. But this area, I'm not very sure. I'm gonna do some cast here, just test it out. Uh, see what happens. All right. Let's, uh, this is a pretty big open area. Let's try this first. We missed it. 
because I did felt a bite, but that was a very small bite. I don't think there are uh, much big fish here. Let's uh, revisit some of our best spots, like this one, for example. See if we can catch some more. Oh, fish on! Oh my gosh! Look at this crappie! This is the best, this is the biggest crappie of the day, hands down. Wow! Look at this crappie! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh. Alright, you can go. Big crappie on this four inch tube. Oh, that's another one. Oh shit, I lost it. Guys, do you see that? Oh my gosh. That's another big fish. Oh, you know what? Next time I let him bite a little bit longer. Oh, fish on. Fish on. This is a big one. We got another big mondo. Oh, he's, he's tangled again. Oh, okay, we got him. Get over here. Oh, okay, we got him. Ooh, another big fish. This is a probably, I would say, uh, 1.9 pound. Oh man, I am having my best day ever. I've lost so many of this. Oh, okay, you can go. Beautiful fish, you can go. I am loving with this place. Guys, this is an insane day. I wasn't planning to fish this long, but I just cannot stand these kind of branches lay down. There are so many just along this trail. I just cannot resist it. But I throw my lures on every one of them. I did lose some of lures, but I don't mind. There are so many fish, so many big fish, at least two pound plus, and drag my lure under those branches, and I just have to cut off my line. I mean, you get locked in it. There's nothing I can do about it. Wow, what a wonderful day, guys. What time is it? Holy crap, I fished for five hours already. Oh, this is the longest session I ever fished. Time flies, man. If you really enjoy doing something, you are just like time flies. This is my best day ever this year, I am telling you. Whew. All right, thank you very much for watching. Hey guys, remember this? This is our very first spot we fished today. Uh, before we wrap up today's session, I just want to go down there. Uh, let's see if there are any more fishes there. Guys, is there any better way to end today's video than this? 